Hi, it's Signa from Sign of Horses and it's starting to rain a little bit. These skies are dramatic. Anyway, this is part 10 of connecting with Shay. They're Shay and we are connecting. Good morning. If you watch this vlog regularly, and I know some of you do, because I've seen your name subscribing, thank you very much, <laughs> you're the best, you noticed I have my eyebrows done. And I'm off to the hairdresser now, because my hair just needs a trimming. Um, also, before I go to the hairdresser, I have to stop by Bliss, take his blanket off, because this weather, it's like autumn yesterday with loads of rain and cold temperatures and today summer is turned back on though it's a bit uncertain if it really wants to be summery um on the road again <laughs> on the road again <laughs> on the road again i don't know the words to that song i only know <laughs> I only know the, the road again. I have to look that up. Let me know what what kind of what kind of songs do you sing when you're in the car? Okay, my car is making a funny noise. Cars, you know, if I could live without a car, I would in a in an instant. I do all my groceries with Blizz. I go to my work with Blizz. Or any other horse, really. I just have plenty of horses to go everywhere. To be honest, horses break down too, and they give me even more worries. But I, don't, I, I trust nature. Nature heals itself. You just give it rest, you leave it be for a while, and then it's going to be fine again, hopefully. With cars, I don't know. I just don't. I don't like. I love. Oh, do you hear that? That is not normal. That is not a normal sound for my car. What is wrong with your car? It's not talking to me. It's not showing me. It's not giving me any signals. No nostrils or ears turned or white of eye showing that he's he or she, I don't know what my car is, is in pain or I don't know what to do. I need to call my mechanic. That's what I need to do. I hate it when my car is sick. It sounds sick. And one thing is certain with cars, they don't heal themselves. I wish they did though. Enough about cars. Let's talk about horses. My horse used to be fine with all types of weather in the summer. He'd just stay outside and he was perfectly fine. And nowadays, he... Uh, sort of gets colder at, in the evenings and at night and especially with wind and with rain He just needs a blanket. So I already I watched the coat yellow. I said, okay I'm gonna put you in the blank blanket and you're gonna be okay And he wasn't Those of you who follow me on Instagram. You've seen him poor boy boy baby. He was trembling with cold um, so the next day I thought I'm gonna really really watch the weather report and it looked fine and it looked fine and I thought he's, he's, gonna, he's gonna be fine outside with his blanket on and then um, the owner of Gijs, that's the big Frisian horse that's in the same field as Bliss, she was there at the same time I was there and she said I'm gonna put Gijs inside and I said what? She said yep it's code yellow again and it was lovely and sunny and balmy <laughs> when we decided to put the horses inside. Um, we both collected, I said, if you are going to put your horse inside, I'm gonna put my horse inside as well. And we really, really had doubts because it was lovely when we put them in. But that night, thunder, rain, it might have hailed, I don't know. I was asleep, well, half asleep because I can't really sleep at the moment. I think it's too much impressions with my new work and um, too, too much stuff on my mind and also a bit of worry about Blizz and being outside even though he was inside and she put them out the next day waited out the worst of the of the rain and she even put his blanket back on when she put him outside in the rain I love her she was great because I forgot to text her 
because I was in a meeting at work. Today is going to be really warm again. It's like going to be 20 degrees all of a sudden. Um, so I want to take his blanket off before I go to the hairdressers. Uh, I'm probably going to be late at the hairdressers. So let's do this blanket thing. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Because they're going to be late for the hairdresser. Now the good thing is... <laughs> Left the lights on. <laughs> the good thing is the hairdresser is usually late himself. So no worries there. Can't believe I said that. Pass by the cows. Pass by the food. The cow and horse food for next winter. I love this about being on a working farm because you can see where the hay comes from. You can see the work they put into getting the hay off the land and turning it into either cow feed or horse feed. And um, you really, really live with the farmers and with the seasons and uh, with the weather as well. You know exactly what type of weather it's going to be and what effect that has on the grass. I mean, look at this. Look at this grass, it's so green. As if that's the cow's grass. See, they manage the, um, the, the pastures differently. That, the cow's grass is being much more fertilized and then the horse's grass is not. Um, yeah, so I'll sh quickly show you while I'm here. Remember the last couple of vlogs where I was riding in the big field with, um, with Shay? This is actually the same field and it was yellowy, yellowy, yellowishy, yellowishy, yellowishy. Wow, new words. And now it's bright green. Nature rules. Aha, Bliss has spotted me. I don't know if you can spot him. He's away in the distance. Where are you, Blizzy? He's spotted me. My little unicorn is coming. Right. Now I have to go get go through these wires and through the mud, so I'm going to turn you off for a second, but I'll be back with you after this incredibly cool transition. <gasps> nom, nom, nom. There's my little buddy in his blanket. I'm going to put you down so you can watch me take his blanket off, which is incredibly interesting to watch. I just love him. <laughs> coming towards me. Hey buddy! Oh you're so itchy! Yes I know you are very itchy. Oh my god what did you do to your face? Look at that! He's wounded! He's got a wound! Oh you scratch too much right? Hey guys you scratchy too boy! Yeah. Oh you need a big scratch there. Right where your horn is going to be. Hey guys. Hey big buddy. Putting you down so you can watch me take the blanket off. Guys, don't eat the camera. Don't eat the camera. Back up. Well, that was very exciting. Took the blanket off, taking it inside, getting back in my car, going to the hairdressers. And after that, I'll see you back right here with my not very new exciting hairdo because it's just going to be split ends. I think. You never know when I go to the hairdressers what I return with. See you in a minute. Do you notice the difference in my hair? It's just a lot shorter and the dead, the dead ends are out. That's it. Pretty simple. Back at the horses. Shay is really, really dirty. She gave herself a mud bath. Let's have a look at you, Shay. Oh my god. I've decided that this is going to be number 10 in the series of connecting with Shay. Let's go! I forgot my 
treat, so I'm using nature treats. Her. Got dirt on the lens. There. Jay? Jay? Okay, this arena is terrible. It's really muddy and deep at some places, so it's, um, I don't mind the mud. I don't mind it being deep, but it's the irregularities that I don't like, especially when working with a horse. So I'm gonna turn the camera around a bit and then use the smaller arena like this. Swoosh, swoosh. I think I need to adjust you a little bit more. I want to get the full circle on. So you can see how the circling is going. And it's going a lot better than the first episode. So I'm happy either way. I decided to... I was thinking about um, lawnmower in the background. Either it's airplanes, it's tractors, it's lawnmowers. Always noise in the background. Those birds can be really noisy as well. And if it's not all that, then it's the wind. <laughs> or a horse neighing. Well, let's work. I'm using this training with Shay to uh, talk about the benefits of balance uh, to establish a bend in your horse. And bending of a horse on a circle uh, in in an online situation like this, she will bend around me and uh, bend away from the pressure of a whip or a finger or whatever aid you want to um, give to that. And when riding, it's going to be the bend around your inside leg. And balance is a very important thing for a horse to be able to bend. So if you can balance your horse then you can bend your horse and if you can bend your horse then you can balance her when filming it's a lot easier to see this you can see here that her hind leg her hind quarters drift off the circle and her uh, shoulder comes into the circle in towards me and a good thing is that we've been working on weight displacement a lot uh, as in um, turning her hindquarters away from me. That's also a bit of a balance exercise as well as um, uh, making her more responsive and focused. So this, this circle with her shoulder uh, into me is getting a bit larger and then she finds her balance and is able to relax her top line. And this is actually the first time she did that for a longer period. So I'm giving her a big reward and ask her to do it again. She's sort of like, what happened? And then she gets very annoyed with the stick, correcting her belly or her ribs. I want her ribs to go out more. And sometimes I want her hind quarters to go out more. And as soon as she relaxes and stretches, then I reward her. Though the relaxing and stretching itself is a reward for the horse. <laughs> She's getting very annoyed <laughs> with the stick. But as you know, with Jay, um, a crisis helps her to get better. So she's very expressive in that sort of thing. Look at that relaxation of the top line. And I let her drift off the circle when she, uh, when she does this. Because I want her to find her balance. I don't want to talk 
to her about keeping her balance or support her in keeping her balance. It's her balance and she has to find it. Look at that licking and chewing here. She's processing everything that just happened. But straight away she knows, hmm, it's nice to walk with my head down. And you can see her hind legs are way more straight behind her front legs in that little um, part of, of the circle. And even these, these few moments are precious. It's, it doesn't have to be an entire circle at this moment in training. That will happen uh, later. And relaxation. Let's have that in slow-mo. I correct her balance. She finds it and is able to relax. And I let her stand still. And as you can see in the standstill, she's perfectly square. Now that is balance, if you ask me. Another thing we're working on, which will help you uh, both with bend and balance, is weight displacement and um, going away from pressure. Uh, I am not the pressure point in this. The string end of the stick is the pressure point. So in one direction she did it beautifully and in this direction you can see that she doesn't really know what to do. She can feel the whip on the other side of her body but she doesn't know what to do with that aid so she tends to go into the pressure instead away from the pressure. So I'm going to help her a little bit by asking her to bend her head, her jaw, her head, her neck and and that way her body and that will help her to get her weight to the side where I want it to go and then with the aid of the whip applying pressure to her outside she knows how to come towards me and once she gets it she really gets it and she knows how to do it it's hard for her for her hind legs to step over it's um, you can see it that she finds that a little bit hard now this way is much easier for her and you, you, I don't do anything with my hand except avoid her head coming into me. And then the whip is asking her body to come towards me and you can see she has a pretty um, exaggerated but a pretty nice bend there. Let's try this side again. Oh, I hope she forgot what to do. She's not waiting for the aid here, she's just interpreting what I'm going to ask and anticipating what I'm going to ask instead of thinking. So I want her to think and there it is. Here you can really see how difficult her hind legs are for her. Sort of irregular in her, the stepping of her hind legs but she does her best so I reward that. On the side where everything is a lot harder for her to do, physically to do, because she's left-handed or right-handed, like humans are. It's on that side that she learns the best. And somehow, I don't know if this is scientifically true, but I believe in it and I see it every time, not just with horses, but also with humans. When something is more difficult to learn, it just, when, once you get it, you really, really get it because it was a hard thing to learn. Things that come easily, when you ask other people, well, how do you do it? And it's about something that comes easily. They just go, oh, I don't know, I just do it. The things that you had to work on that were hard to learn, those are the things that really get stuck. And when you ask people who have learned something that's difficult, in a, that was difficult to learn, then they go, oh, I know exactly how I did it because I experienced each and every step. <laughs> Long story just to see, to explain on how learning, not just with horses, but with humans work. So when you're working with a horse and you find something difficult, I struggle all the time working with Shay, and you can see it, I'm sure you can see it. But when you're learning something, um, just, if it's hard, be glad it's hard, because then it's worth putting in the effort. I'm gonna let her run. Run, 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 because she needs to lose some poundage. 
I know, so do I. That's life. I was getting really annoyed with that lawnmower <laughs> messing up my sound, but it's probably gonna be all voiceover. And now at the end, it's a good experience for Shay. Although I think she was more like, why is that red thing eating my grass? <laughs> than really, really scared of the lawnmower. She was interested. the same color shade. Oh, look at that. Wow. We got the same hair color. Oh yeah. <laughs> How's that for an extension? Your horse being it's an extension of yourself. All right, so that's the end of this vlog. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that little bell depending on where you're watching this vlog is there's a bell somewhere and then you'll get notifications every time I put up a new vlog. Yay! Oh, and while I've got my thumb up, hit that thumbs up button, please. Don't forget to release your inner Viking and I'll see you next time. Bye.